I was born in 1963. Well, it's difficult for me to remember, definitely, but it was a very complex time, of course, in the world. Uh, United States, Soviet Union, and so forth. A year later, the uh, leadership of Soviet Union changed, but I was blissfully unaware of it. Reading books, listening to music, going for a walk whenever I have a chance. Uh, happening every day, basically, and usually it's comes out of my contact with my friends, with the members of my family, and making music. Fritz Kreisler. Would be difficult for me to name one. It would be at least 20. <laughs> Again, it would be difficult for me to name it to one. It would be Bach, Beethoven, Wagner, and many others. Most famous? But what was the question? Fritz Kreisler. Have his pictures. Oh, yeah. oh, you have his phone number? No, not for no. <laughs> pictures. pictures. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not. It's, it's not that. I would never, never thought about it. I should know, probably. I don't know. To make every day, to live every day like it's the last day of my life, I guess. Strength. I'm pretty patient person. Uh, I can work very slowly towards towards my goals, but I can be easily distracted. That's my weakness. What I don't like to do. Huh? To schmooze. Invented. No, I'm not that type of person. I'm, I'm not an inventor. If I would not be a musician, probably I would be a historian, political scientist, maybe doctor, but that's, that's big questions. About coffee? No. Oh, I had many. I had many. And uh, I always wanted to be a musician. That I know, but of course there were many other distractions, like being an astronaut, doctor, or zookeeper, and things like that. Most of the time, but I'm using single finger technique. I never developed the facility that younger people have. About all things that I might might forget to do today, it gives me give me gives me anxiety. I would probably leave my old country earlier if it would be in my power, and I would meet a lot of great people that unfortunately were already dead when I came to the West. Well, most of sense it never seems. But I don't think I try to be any different when I'm in public. Well, to a huge extent, it was a chance, an opportunity, and I tried to take opportunities as they come, but I never was aggressive in pursuing my career. And perhaps you might argue or speculate that it could be bigger, and the exposure could be bigger, and I could have a bigger name. But I'm pretty happy with what I'm doing now because I do a lot of different wonderful things. I, I do what I love, and I make living. I think success should be measured by, by your personal standards, not by expectations of other people, because you can never please everybody. Yeah, there were all kinds of rumors in the Soviet Union that I was going to defect at some point, and, and other things, that I had a relationship with a woman that I actually never met. It was already in New York, a very famous violinist, but I had no grounds at all. Uh, there are all kinds of rumors, and I find it very amusing. And, and, Anyway, as long as it doesn't damage, damage my life, doesn't cause any kind of harm, it's perfectly fine. I feel like celebrity. I like my early recordings that I made still in the Soviet Union for Melodian label. And uh, I would say it's a Prokofiev friend of this. Brahms' third sonata and his eighth sonata number six. I believe it's very bright. And I think most of fears about destiny of classical music are hope blown out of proportion and exaggerated. I think classical music, in the very name of it, it will survive for many, many years.